Hey everyone, I'm Ryan Garcia, also known as King Ryan. I'm a professional boxer and the WBC champion of the world. And I'm Dr. Adam Perlman, a physician from the Mayo Clinic. Today, we're going to explore the importance of creativity and the role it can play in our own mental health and well being. This is Perspectives with Google Arts and Culture. I'm so excited to be talking with you, especially about mental health, something I've struggled with and many people around the world. So I'm just so happy to finally have a conversation about it. And I'm so honored to have you here, Dr. Froman. Hey, Ryan, uh, I'm honored to be here and really honored to be doing this with you. So here we go. Can you tell our viewers a little bit more about the Mayo Clinic? Sure, Ryan. Uh, the Mayo Clinic is a nonprofit academic health system. We have multiple hospitals where physicians like me practice. The Mayo Clinic is also very involved in research. We have a number of scientists hard at work advancing patient care and education. We're training future healthcare providers, current healthcare providers. And as uh, many may know, for years, we've been rated the number one medical center in the world and, and obviously in the country. Pictures here you got up on uh, Mayo Clinic. There's a rich history. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah, I mean, since we're talking about mental wellness today, you have a pretty stressful job as a boxer. I can only imagine uh, what preparing for a fight is like. I mean, how do you manage the pressure? I think that's something I took a lot from Bruce Lee. You know a lot about somebody by just their energy, right? And I could sense that when I throw a punch, you know, when it felt good was when it flew, not when I forced it. I stopped fighting against the tide and I started to uh, go with the flow. Instead of trying to figure out a way, I just kind of say to myself, well, in order for me to do something great, right, I need to acknowledge that I'm vulnerable. And I think the moment you acknowledge you're vulnerable is when you gain strength because you're not trying to hide it anymore. You're ex actually exposing it and in that you find strength. So I kind of flipped the script on anxiety and I say, yeah, it's okay, I feel this way because I have this pressure. It's okay to feel this way. Um, it's okay to feel like you don't have it together because in that, that's where the strength comes. Then you can see things clearer. Um, so I've tried to cope my way by just saying, I guess, keep moving forward. Nobody has, that has ever accomplished something great, it was easy, whether mental or physical. So I say to myself, if there is a lot of pressure and if there is a lot of anxiety, well then there must be a great reward on the other side, so I better keep pushing. And martial arts is a beautiful way to explore yourself because you really don't know what your limits are until you push them, you know what I mean? That's really interesting. I mean, one is sort of an openness to being vulnerable, like you said, which um, is interesting coming from a boxer. The ability to be vulnerable is really important. You know, I think the other thing that you, you've said is really embracing, embracing the challenge, you know, yes. and, and, and recognizing it, accepting it, but, but not letting it beat you, um, sort of embracing it. Really, really important lessons. When you're getting creative, it actually releases dopamine, other neurochemicals in the brain. Oh, wow. And these are like natural antidepressants. Boxing showed me true discipline that sometimes you won't see the light at the end of the tunnel, but if you keep putting that work in, I promise you it's gonna happen. It's taught me so many lessons. So it's all about being comfortable in any position and you can't do that if you're tense. You have to be flowing. There's a lot of ways to settle the mind, to right. focus the mind and creative arts, whether it's boxing, whether it's martial arts, whether it's painting, you know, or other forms of expression, they focus the mind just like meditation. Look at Bruce Lee right now meditating. So the more uncomfortable I am, I know there's something to learn here. And I think it's taught me so much about myself. Everyone needs to find the right tool for them. Is it boxing or martial arts? Is it painting? Is it sculpture? Speaking of sculpture, I'm actually a big fan of Michelangelo's work. Let's see if we can find some of that. This is uh, Casa Buonarroti. Wow. I mean, if you go to one of those sculptures there. Look at that. What really struck me, or anytime I look at an amazing piece of work like that, I mean, that was just a stone. That right. was just a lump of stone. And and Michelangelo had to see the potential inside of it. And again, I mean, it's just like you had to pursue the potential inside of yourself, you know, and, and recognize it and go for it and lean into your own fears to sort of realize and make that potential come true. Exactly. And if you're, you know, if you're too afraid to fail, it's really hard to ever ever realize that potential you know I, it's really are we willing to take a step forward are we really lean in to some discomfort and explore our own potential you know if we're that piece of stone 
Michelangelo looking at it, you know, and we're looking at ourselves. I mean, who knows what's inside there? We just got to keep chipping away till we can pull the beauty out, right? There it is. Yeah. Let me see if I take one step forward. This was actually one of my favorite. Just a stone and wow. just seeing that come out of it, you know, yeah, recognizing that's... that potential. It's amazing. Man. And it shows the struggle in life. <laughs> That's what I got out of it. Yeah. So much things around you trying to pull you away. And we're in it together. <laughs> right, we're all together. in it together. That's true, that too. That's crazy. You could get so much out of art. You know, looking at pieces of, of artwork like this and, and having a conversation so that you're gaining yeah. sort of a perspective on it sometimes helps you to gain perspective on yourself, right? Yeah. Like we, we those doors to our own minds, if you will, our own souls, you know, open up in different ways. And I think that's one thing that art can do for you. It can lead to insight. I think that kind of insight is what we need to help us make the choices in our lives that help us to stay healthy physically, stay healthy mentally, and stay healthy spiritually as well. You know, when you look at pieces like this, it, it makes you realize, at least on some level, you're just, you're part of something bigger, a bigger universe, a, a bigger connection to other human beings. It's beautiful pieces of artwork like this that can remind us. You know what else makes me feel that emotional connection to something bigger? Traveling. Traveling makes me feel so connected. And one place I've always wanted to go to is Venice. And I think we have a chance to do that. Let me see. Can we get there? There's so much history in Italy. It's crazy, right? Yeah. Such a different feeling. It's amazing. Let's see. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No way. Look at that. <laughs> this is cool. Oh, stop it. I'm here now. You can't say I haven't been here. Cool. Can you imagine even just building a city like that? Look at that. It really it's built a city on water, city. huh? Very cool. That's beautiful. That's amazing. This is so cool. I wonder if people who live here actually appreciate the beauty. I think a sense of uh, gratitude and thankfulness for what you have could go a long way. Look at this. This is crazy. Like, to me, it's just yeah. a door right here. Yeah. Like, imagine just getting off and just going through <laughs> that door. Like, to me, that's beautiful. Yeah. It can be really therapeutic to just stop for a moment. Gratitude. Present in the moment right? and appreciate what's around you. Oh, look at that. It kind of changes your whole perspective on things. Like, I mean, stop paying attention to maybe something going wrong in your life. And, you know, I mean, you only focus on that. You kind of step, take a step outside and you can see the beauty and things and be so thankful, right? I think what's really critical is it's not denying the reality. It's not denying the challenge of the reality, but it's saying, even while I'm doing my best to deal with it, you know, can I find some moments of gratitude or other things? I think this is another great way to, to look. Look at how beautiful this is. Yeah, that's amazing. I'm so thankful that I have the access to looking at a place that I've always wanted to go to. Whether you're focused on this beautiful tour through Venice or focused on looking at a beautiful sculpture like we did early or focused on expressing yourself, whether that's through your art, maybe through your boxing, you know, that creative moment is a moment where you're present and you can be in this moment, not mind wandering. And in that regard, like meditation, you know, more of a kind of a moving meditation, if you will, to, to kind right. of help us to be more centered and more present. Thank you, Dr. Perlman. I appreciate you. Hey, Ryan, this was great. Appreciate your honesty. Appreciate your vulnerability. Hey, more to come, right? Get to Venice. Yeah, right, I'll see you there. <laughs> see you there, that's it. Hey, everyone, thanks for joining us. I hope you enjoyed seeing some tangible ways to increase your mental wellness. Like he said, thanks for watching and hope this motivates you to take your own journey on Google Arts and Culture.